terrible. It was like uh, we were left, we were just left to be, be and die. Chaos. Terrible. It's transformative. Devastation. Hell. I was just thinking that it was uh, like a, a parody, another parody of hurricanes going on like they do here. You know, coming, oh, hurricane is coming and everybody was, but this was uh, real stuff. Our generators had all been on for a week, so we weren't prepared. Nobody had fuel because we didn't think we'd be on generators in another few days. And certainly generators <coughs> that would have to keep functioning for several months. There's still people living without 60% of the island. They keep telling you it's 30%, 40%, it's not. It's 60% of the island is still without light. It's chaos. It was a chaotic <laughs> situation, really bad, really bad. I saw in the news that there was a hurricane coming and first uh, came Hurricane Irma. Being there and going through a hurricane, and I've seen a lot of hurricanes, but this was like, it scared me. You learn to live in a different way and it changes you. Este desastre más grande que hemos tenido, esto ha sido catastrófico y ha cambiado la industria de hoteles y restaurantes para siempre. We took all, you know, the premises of uh, just to save our lives, but uh, at one moment, and we thought, oh, uh, this is really, really bad. Siendo yo abogado y profesor, lo, los tribunales y las universidades cerraron, así que me quedé sin trabajo. Pasé cinco días pensando qué podía hacer para no tener que irme a vivir a los Estados Unidos. De modo que se me ocurrió la idea de uh, hacer y vender uh, hamburguesas, hamburgers, homemade. Psychologically, the people were not uh, thinking that it would be uh, quite so difficult. And the most probably hard thing for all of us to uh, cope with was the fact that, of course, we had no light, and with that went water. But then the communication was just absolutely, and that was devastating. El huracán María en Puerto Rico fue una cosa impresionante, algo inesperado y entiendo yo que no, no estábamos listos para ese tipo de, de huracán. They lied to the people. They supposed to be uh, here by December. With the whole power, the governor say that. Yo vivía en un apartamento número 15 en un condominio muy alto. O sea que tuve que prepararlo con tormentera, con, con todas las provisiones eh, necesarias. Pero no así, no fue suficiente para la fuerza y la devastación que tuvo el huracán en Puerto Rico. Just, it's a beautiful island, and they don't know what to do with it. Ha sido duro, pero siempre estamos sobreviviendo. Ya que somos isleños, sabemos cómo hacerlo. There was no maintenance at all of the lines in the whole island completely. Para mí, personalmente, fuera de récord, liquidar a dos o tres, pero eso no es posible. La solución es traer más compañías de energía eléctrica a Puerto Rico. Everything keeps blowing up, and, and right now we're out, we're, we're, we're without light. And I think it's six months uh, after the storm, or five months, I'm not sure. We're still without light. When you've got infrastructure that was as old as what this was, and, and things, and the, the devastation that was caused by Hurricane Maria, it, 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 it causes issues with making repairs. Uh, when you've got literally 10,000 miles of cable on the ground, it takes a long time to make it work. This is uh, about 9 megawatt machine. We're moving this from San Juan, Puerto Rico to Barceloneta. It's going to provide 9 megawatt to the area that is needed. That's part of the microgrid that we're trying to provide to the island. This is one of the two engines that will come to Puerto Rico.
I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Puerto Rico is too beautiful a place to be left uh, to suffer uh, and ignored. As we stand surrounded by the devastation of Maria, what we're bringing to the island with this project is what we like to call power reliability as a service. What, what it does is they microgrid to other corporations and it really helped to maintain a lot of jobs in the island. I think that's the major impact. Standing behind me is a 10 megawatt engine um, that will generate power for the island in a reliable way. Uh, it will allow industrial customers of, of the island to generate power themselves, sell excess power back to the grid, and therefore balance and optimize the grid for the residents here in Puerto Rico. We are now into a, a phase that uh, we're doing microgrids. We're on the island of uh, Calabria and the island of Vieques, and in about seven different areas here on Puerto Rico, we're powering whole communities. It's got all the right ingredients. Uh, I'm totally 100% that it's gonna be better than it ever was.